Well, welcome to Pen STEM. It's the YouTube channel that for everything STEM related. And if you're uh, looking at this video and you're trying to figure out how you're going to make some turbine blades because you're doing the green energy project, uh, the offshore marine energy project, and you come to the right place. So uh, let me show you a few things and features. Now, I'm going to just assume that you're new to using Tinkercad. Um, so Tinkercad is an online CAD computer aided design program. And uh, you can use it at any age, really. You can do simple things with it. Or you can do really complex stuff with it. So bear with me and we'll get going. So the first thing you need to do is create an account on Tinkercad. Your teacher might have already done that for you. He might have given you a class code to log in and a nickname. Um, let's assume you're in here now, okay? Right, so this is my work plane. This is the, uh, the surface I'm gonna do a drawing on. Standard work plane is horizontal. You can create different ones. But we're gonna start with the horizontal one. You can see the squares on here, centimeter squares and they're subdivided into millimeters with the tiny little squares. And you or you, you maneuver your way around on Tinkercad using a mouse, ideally. If you're using a tablet, which it does work on, then you're gonna struggle a little bit. You're probably gonna be dragging around this view cube to try and make your, your drawing uh, look around. You could also be using the auto scale button to zoom in on things or the plus and the minus button here. But like I say, a mouse is best all right let's have a look uh grid snap let's look at that first of all the grid snap lets you change the size of the grid that you're going to move to so it's set up as a default one to one millimeter i'm going to leave it there okay uh right let's try and start thinking about how we can create some fan blades that we can modify because the ones you got on your pack for the experiments had fixed pitch and varying number of uh, blades on them. So let's just see where I got those from first of all, right? So uh, click on the shapes library down here and scroll down until you see shape generators at the bottom. When you're on shape generators, just give it a second to load, scroll down here again and you're gonna have to search for, uh, here, look, rounded windmill blade, they call it. Now there it is, and somebody's done a lot of the hard work for you here, look. It's a company called, they are called My Stem Kit. It's an American company and they're ever so good because what you can do, if you look carefully now, is you can change and adapt this design to suit what you want, right? So for example, length of the blades, uh, you can see here now it's about two and a half squares. There's a quarter there, two whole ones, another quarter there. So two and a half centimeters there. If I put out the length, you can see I can make the blades longer like this. If I push the number of blades up, Look, I can create a multi-bladed one right up to how many? 12 blades there if I want to. So, you know, I can leave it at whatever. And then here's another clever thing that we haven't investigated yet, right, which is pitch. So one of the resource cards that you've got in your pack is all about forces and how equal and opposite uh, forces uh, interact. It's one of Newton's laws. So when the wind hits this blade, uh, 90 degrees to the blade, we have uh, what's called the normal, or the 90 degree line, and your resultant force is going to act opposite that. So it's opposite, but it's opposite using the normal as a reflex angle. So uh, it's going to that blade rotate around. Let's have a look, right? If you do this, look at the angle changing now. So 45 is set up there. I can bring the angle right up if I want to. So obviously straight on is not going to generate much power at all. 45 degrees is my maximum power, so you could want to try and generate blades using that. Okay, so have a go at adapting the shapes that you get on your blades. That's the first thing you got to do. Uh, next thing, then, let's have a look at how we can create a hole in the center of that turbine blade. If you want to be 3D printing that and using a pencil as your pivot point, right? So, uh, more clever stuff in Tinkercad. If you go down to everyday objects, and you're going to look for a pencil. There it comes, right? There's a pencil, and it's a life-size pencil, right? That's a full-size pencil there. So what you're going to do now is where it says solid, you're going to change it to a hole, and that will change this pencil into a hollow shape or a, or a shape that you can use to, to cut things out. Now, we need to put that right in the middle of the fan. Now, let's have a look, right? If I change my view from perspective to flat, orthogonal we call it right now you should be able to see if i click on the top of the view cube here i can use the arrows on my keyboard to nudge my shape around and find out whether i can put it bang in the middle we need to do that to make sure it's balanced now can i get it to go in the middle well it's a bit hit and miss so i'm going to show you a trick that works really well now 
<clears throat> it works well with circular objects. Let's just see if it works with this one, right? Okay, so I'm going to go into the align button. And if you look carefully on the screen now, look, I've got these little dots. So if I click on this dot and I click on this dot, it nudges the shape. As I said before, it's not putting it in line. Okay, that's all right. Um, I'm going to go back to my nudging function, right? If you try and do that with a circular object, you probably find it works much better. So uh, looking at that now, it looks as if it's too close to the top. Let's bring it down a little bit. Do you know what I think the problem is? My grid snap is too big. Let's try it on a half a millimeter. So I click on that. I can now nudge it in much smaller distances. That looks pretty good to me. We'll have to test it and see whether it works, but it looks like it's in the middle. Right, in 3D, my shape is sticking out of there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab the pencil and I'm going to grab the little black arrow at the top of it and I'm going to pull it down so the pencil is halfway into the uh, turbine blade. Now I'm going to lasso everything and I'm going to group it okay, in the group button at the top there. Give it a second to redraw and what it'll do is use the pencil to cut a hole out of the centre of the turbine. It should be exactly the right size for a standard pencil to fit into your prop blade. There you are. So that's that's using the wizard functions really to create your uh, turbine blades. So just remember where you were looking, you were looking in shape generators for the propeller that you can change the features on. And then you were looking in everyday objects for the pencil. You'll probably find other stuff in here that you can use as part of your design ideas. Um, you know, for example, I'm thinking if you were gonna make something called a Pelton wheel, uh, which is like a series of cups that you can use to catch the wind. If you're experimenting with different kind of things you can use as uh, as turbine blades, then maybe you're going to be useful. I don't know. See how you get on. Right. Um, I am going to save that drawing. So Tinkercad gives it some strange names. I'm going to call that as Test Turbine and uh, save it. Now, if I wanted to 3D print that object, very simple. You click on the object, you go over to Export, and then you make sure you click on STL File, and it downloads the object, and then you can send it to your 3D printer if you're lucky enough to have one. Okay, a lot of people have got them at home nowadays. Uh, if not, you may have one in school, or you may want to email it to uh, school and uh, send it up to the comprehensive, and we can see if we can make it for you. If you've done a good enough job, we'll see if we can do that, right? Okay, so well done. If you want to pause it, rewind it, watch it again, uh, just so it all goes in, uh, and good luck. Off you go.